This is a Christmas story about a cute little mouse named Mortimer. He's on every page. If you look, you'll find him. In a big house lived a teeny weeny mouse named Mortimer. He lived in a dark, dark hole under the stairs. Nobody ever noticed little Mortimer, and Mortimer liked it that way, but he didn't like the hole he had to live in. Too cold, too cramped, too creepy, he squeaked. Every day he snuck out and crept about looking for crumbs or tidbits. But one day, Mortimer saw something new. What he spied was wonderful. He saw a huge tree covered with twinkling lights and on the top was a bright shiny star. But something even better than the tree itself sat next to the tree. It was just a little house. It was just Mortimer's size. Just for me, said Mortimer. But the house was so high and Mortimer was so little. I'll climb up the tree, said Mortimer. It made a perfect ladder for a mouse. Up, 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 Mortimer climbed. Down, down, down fell the ornaments on the ground. But finally he reached the table. Perfect, said Mortimer. Not cold, not cramped, not creepy. But who are you guys? Mortimer had never seen people so small almost as tiny as himself. He had never seen these strange animals either. Tap, tap, tap. Mortimer knocked on the house, but nobody answered him. Tap, tap, tap. No one even moved an inch. I see, you're not real, said Mortimer. You're just like a statue. And so Mortimer lugged and tugged, and one by one he moved the statues out of the way. When he reached the smallest statue, he saw it was a baby. A baby in a wooden bed. That was just the right size for Mortimer. There's no room for you in this bed, said Mortimer. You gotta get out. Then into his bed crawled Mortimer. He fell asleep on top of the soft, warm hay. The next day, Mortimer went creeping about. He found good things to eat cookie crumbs and fruit cake morsels and spicy peppermint candy. But when Mortimer climbed back up to his house, the statues were back in the house. No, 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 said Mortimer. This won't do. There's no room for me in here with you guys. And so Mortimer lugged and he tugged until all the statues were out again. And stay out this time, said Mortimer. And then he crawled into his bed and fell asleep in the warm, soft hay. But every day while Mortimer was scurrying about, the statues got put back in their places. So every night Mortimer lugged and tugged them back out until one day Mortimer sat out and saw that all the people were sitting by the tree. So he couldn't go out there. He decided to hide among the statues. And then a man started talking. Mortimer listened and what he heard was wonderful. Since it is Christmas Eve, I shall tell the Christmas story, said the man. A long time ago in a little town called Bethlehem, Mortimer heard about people named Joseph and Mary and a bright shining star. He heard about shepherds watching their flocks by night and traveling wise men. The man continued, and there was no room in the inn for them. Then Mortimer heard about a baby, a baby who was born in a stable and had no real bed, so he had to sleep in the manger, a baby born to save the world. And his name shall be called Jesus, said the man. Then Mortimer looked at the bright shining star on the tree, and he looked at his new little house, and his new little bed, and he looked at all the statues. Last of all, he looked at that baby. I see, said Mortimer. 
You're not just a statue. You're a statue of baby Jesus. Mortimer sniffed and snuffled. A tear rolled down his little furry cheek. There was no room for you in the inn, but I know where there's room for you, right here. And so Mortimer lugged and hugged and tugged until he had dragged all the statues back where they belonged. And last of all, he laid the baby in the manger. This bed belongs to you, he said. And Mortimer smiled. You look warm and cozy there too. Now there was no place for Mortimer. No place to go but back in the cold, cramped, creepy hole. And Mortimer scuttled down the tree and said, Jesus, you were born to save the world. Do you think you could help me find a house? And then Mortimer saw something, something new. What he spied was wonderful. Mortimer sighed with delight. It's another house, and it's just my size. But there were no statues there, and so Mortimer moved right in. Thank you, Jesus, he said. You made room for me, too. Can you see him? He's poking his little head outside the gingerbread house. <laughs>